Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a necklace using a Gita setting, and these are made for Swarovski crystals. And you see that this is a wonderful, actually pre-made necklace, which is just fantastic. So if we look at the one here that I'm going to be using, it has this nice prong setting, and it is specifically made to go with a 12 millimeter Swarovski crystal cushion stone. I have it in tanzanite here. I'm also gonna be creating some little accent pieces with these little bicones. These are five millimeter and some 1.5 inch head pins. So these are gold plated and the silver version is a rhodium plate. So it's this really pretty color. And then if we go along the length of the necklace, you're gonna see that it has a lobster clasp already attached and some nice little detail work on that. And it also has this little extender chain and a heart. So all of these necklaces measure around 16 inches. You can find their exact dimensions on the beetaholic.com website. And then the little extender chain is about an inch and a half. So that'll give you some idea of the size. Now you'll notice that some have multiple stone settings and of different sizes. And when you go to beetaholic.com, we'll actually tell you which stone it fits and you can pick your favorite color. And, but they all have these wonderful prong settings. And that's what I'm gonna teach you how to go ahead and use these and set stones in it. So for the project I wanna make here, I am choosing a single stone setting necklace. And I'm gonna do, like I said, the one with the cushion stone. I'm gonna do it in gold, but I did wanna just quickly show you how pretty it would look in silver as well. So you could definitely take that same tanzanite stone and put it in the rhodium plate. So that is going to be our project for this video. And we're gonna start by setting the actual stone. So you see that it's got this nice little slightly pointed back and that's nice because the setting accommodates that it's deep enough. You just go ahead and put it in and it does fit very nicely. When you pick it up, you're just gonna wanna kind of hold it in place with your fingers. You're gonna take your popsicle stick and just press down on one of the side prongs. Now there are actually specific tools that you can purchase for this as well, which is great. If you're gonna be doing a lot of these, I would highly recommend the specialized tools. You can find a video on them as well at beetaholic.com. But if you're just gonna do one or two, a popsicle stick works great. So I started with uh, the first one over here and then I went across. So you do wanna go across, or if, depending on how you're looking at it diagonally, versus next to each other. And that's gonna just help you keep the stone in place as you're doing it. So once you've got all four of them bent over, what I would then recommend doing is you wanna go back another time, another pass at it, and I'm gonna do like a gentle rolling motion. So I'm just gonna start here, and kind of roll up and over, and that's just gonna to help to really secure it in place. What I love about these is because they already have the chain attached, they've got the lobster clasp attached, and they've got the extender chain, you don't need to buy all those separate findings. It's really nice. You can just focus on what crystal you want, what necklace style you want, and you're good to go. Take some of that guesswork out from, from the equation, and it just makes a really nice, quick, and easy project. All right, so we've got that set now. And then I wanna do these little dangles because you could leave it like this. It would be beautiful just like that. But let's go ahead and add a little something more. So I also picked out tanzanite bicones. And I'm just gonna pick one up. And for my tools, so I've already used the popsicle stick. I'm gonna be using a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of cutters, and a pair of wire looping pliers. So for the wire looping, I'm just gonna grab it right where it exits the bead. Kind of squeeze it a little bit. Bend that wire over the top and crisscross it. And that made a nice little loop. And then where it crosses the wire, I'm just going to go ahead and trim with my cutters. So I have a nice simple loop. And I'm gonna make, let's see, I'll do one, two, maybe three on each side, just a little accent. So I'll want a total of six. So same process. Rotate it up so you can grab onto it, crisscross, snip. All right, we've got our six little dangles and now we're gonna just attach them to the chain. So I'm gonna just move these other beautiful pieces out of the way. So I have a little bit more room to work. I wanna just spread this out a little bit. 
Okay, so if we see that chain, I'm gonna be counting the links along the chain to make sure that I place these evenly. To open it up, I'm just gonna hold it and just kind of swing open that loop, almost like you would open an eye pin or a jump ring. So let's count. We've got, I'm gonna do it on the third link. Just like that. And then go ahead and close it back up. And I'm gonna do the third link again. Just open that guy. So one, two, three. It does help if you lay this down when you're counting. It makes it easier to see where the links are. Then you can just pick it up, link it on where you want to, and then just take your pliers and close it. Okay, and one more on this side. And now that I'm looking at this, this would be really a pretty color to go with this silver tone as well, that nice rhodium plate. Okay, so again, I want to lay nice. Here, let me straighten this out again. Okay, there we go. So one, two, three. Close it, now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so that it matches. I finished adding my dangles, and as you can see, I just did three on each side. You could definitely run all the way the whole length of this necklace. It'd be very pretty to do that as well. So this was a quick and easy project, but it's really unique looking, and it's such a sparkler. It's great for a special occasion or just sometimes when you wanna dress up a little bit. So before I finish this video, I do wanna just show you one other thing because we did take a close up look at that lobster clasp. So the ones that have the multiple stone settings, the lobster clasp is a little bit different. Very pretty, very elegant, just a little different from that one. But they do all have that super pretty little heart on the end of the extender chain. And it is great that these are then adjustable because what you do is you just link your clasp to wherever you want along the length of that chain. So you can really um, vary the length of it. So again, these are Gita settings and these are for Swarovski crystals. And do check out the beadaholic.com website where you'll find all of these necklaces, a whole host of crystals in different colors. And we do list what size you're gonna need because that definitely, we wanna take the guesswork out of that for you guys. And there are rings and earrings and bracelets and then of course these necklaces and even pretty little links as well. Thanks so much for watching.